Welcome to Super Easy Physics and Mathematics. Seepum. This is the episode 3 of the topical reviews of past IGCSE physics questions related to electricity. This episode deals with step-by-step explanation of how to calculate the value of combined resistance in a circuit and electromotive force of a battery. We are looking at question 9, IGCSE paper 4 extended variant 3. October, November 2016. A circuit consists of a 12 volt battery, three resistors, and a switch. Figure 9.1 is the circuit diagram. In this circuit diagram, so you have the 24 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 28 resistor and the 20 ohm resistor, which are connected in series. The battery consists of 2 volt cells in series. State the numbers of 2 volt cells in series in the battery. So what is the principle here? Is the cells are connected in series. The additions of cell will produce a battery. So the EMF of a battery is equal to the number of cells multiplied by the EMF of each of the cells that is made used to construct the battery. So substituting, we have 12 volt battery that we want to produce and we are combining cells with the EMF of 2 volts. So dividing 12 volt divided by 2 volts, that gives 6 cells need to be combined. So what is the number of cells? 6 2 volt cells are used for constructing this 12 volt battery. Question 2. Calculate the combined resistance of the two resistors in series. So we are looking at the combined resistance of the resistor 28 ohm and the other resistor 20 ohm. So we are looking at the combined resistor of this blue resistor and this purple resistors. So when resistors are connected in series, the combined resistance is going to produce a bigger resistance and that is formed by adding the resistance of the resistors that are combined connected in series so the resistance ROS is equal to the resistance of, of the blue resistor plus the resistance of the purple resistor so that gives 48 ohm the total resistance calculate the total resistance of the circuit so this blue resistor and the purple resistor will act as a single resistor with the resistance of 48 so these two will become one resistor here yeah. we replace them with 48 ohm so this 48 ohm will now be in parallel with the 24 ohm so when resistors are in parallel the is in parallel with this red resistor so when resistors are in parallel you add the reciprocal of the resistors that are connected in power so if you do that so these two blue one will produce the 48 ohm connected in parallel with the 24 so the effective resistance will be 1 over 48 plus 1 over 24 so solving gives 16 ohm so the effective resistance connected to the 12 volt is 16 so why do why do scientists connect resistors in two resistors are connected in parallel in order to produce a smaller resistance why two resistors are connected in series in order to produce a higher resistance Res a switch is closed this switch is calculate the current in the 20 ohm resistor so what is the current that will flow through this wire so for us to do that the current that will flow through this that means we want to know what is the potential difference across this wire the potential difference across this wire that is the 28 plus the 20 ohm is for the effective resistance is 48 ohm and then this the battery is connected in parallel with it so the current that will flow through the 20 ohm is the current in this wire so how do we get that all we need to do is to divide this 12 volts 
with the total resistance of all the resistors in this wire which is what is going to produce the current so that 12 volt divided by the resistors in so 12 volt divided by 48 that gives the current of 0 0.25 the charge that flow through the 20 ohm row six minutes what is going to be the quantity of electricity that will flow through resistor in six so for us to calculate that you use the formula the quantity of electricity is equal to the current multiplied by the time that the current used to flow through the so to put that we already know the current flowing in the resistor which is 0 0.25 ampere multiply by six minutes this six minute need to be converted to second the time here must be in second so that is the trap in this question so doing that we have this value so multiply it out that gives 90 coulomb so that brings us to the end of question so move to episode 2 so that you can consolidate on this particular question of how to calculate combined resistance of resistors that are connected in series you are a brilliant student who wants to succeed please subscribe so that you keep up to date because more tutorials solving past exam questions to assist you will be uploaded